Hi, I'm Tara, and this is a video on how to make hot spice wine in the crock pot and how to make hot mulled wine in the crock pot. So I'm going to do two different ones. Um, it's just a little bit easier. The pears are just considered a dessert, and the wine is just something that's nice and warm as the weather cools down. So um, hot wine originated in Rome. They just did it to heat up the wine um, to warm themselves in the winter, and it's a very popular thing throughout all of Europe now especially during the holiday time. So I'm just gonna show that today. So some of the ingredients that you're gonna need if you're gonna do both are just some dry red wines and some brandy if you wanna put that in there. Um, something about hot wine is that you can make it your own. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, and then to sugar it, you'll need some cane sugar, some organic, or you can also use some raw honey. You can use maple syrup. Those are the things that you could do if you choose to. Um, you'll also need some pears. I actually have um, peeled them. You want to peel them and then if you can, keep that top intact. You don't have to. I have four here just because I have a small crock pot, but you can make up to eight with the same recipe. Um, so, and then to spice it, you'll need some ground ginger, some nutmeg, some cinnamon sticks, some cloves, um, I have here that's more nutmeg and then some peppercorns and then I have marcaparone cheese for after the pears are done. It's really nice to go with it and you can also put whipping cream, heavy whipping cream or whipping cream with it. So, whew, and then last but not least, I have some um, oranges sliced really thin and then I have some lemons sliced really thin and then I also have just cut some rind off um, because the citrus will really pull out some flavor. So I'll just go ahead and make the pears first. So I'm just gonna pour a bottle of red wine in here. Take a little bit. So these are for the pears. Bottle of red wine. I have three fourths cup of sugar, arcane sugar. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. It's just a little sweeter since it's the dessert. Um, and then I just have one cinnamon stick. I have four cloves. I have eight peppercorns, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then for the pears, I just have the rind. I'm not gonna put whole slices in for the pears. So the rind of the lemon and the rind of the orange. Gonna stir that up a little bit. Looks so yummy. And then I'm just gonna put four pears in there. You can put eight um, with this recipe. So I'm just gonna put my pears in right here. And go ahead and cover that. And then you can just um, put that on low for about three hours um, or until your pears are soft, you can keep checking them. And then you can serve them right away with some marcaparone cheese here, or you can do some heavy whipping cream or both. You can kind of mix it, put some cinnamon in there. It'd be a really nice dessert. Now for the hot wine, this is something that's really fun. You can kind of um, decorate it up after you have made it. You can put some fresh slices on the edge. You can put some cinnamon sticks in there. You can put some rosemary, some sprigs, um, star anise. Anything that you'd like to decorate it up when you have some family over or something. So you just pour in some hot wine. I have a half a cup of brandy here. I'm just gonna pour that in. I have three fourths cup of sugar. Um, this is if you like it sweet. You can put just maybe a fourth a cup um, or just a few tablespoons, depending on your liking. But I have sweet. And then I just have about, um, you can put like up to two to five cinnamon sticks in here. Just depends on your tasting. I have four. And then I put in here just six um, cloves. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I just have a half of an orange and a half of a lemon. So it's just nice making the two things together because I, um, they just call for a half of a lemon and a half of an orange each. And then I can just put the rinds in here and then put the slices in here in the other one. And I'm just gonna mix that up. So that's all you do for your mulled wine. Mix it up, and then the same thing. I'm gonna put it on low for about three hours, let that all simmer, and then you have a nice dessert, something to drink, and then
and then you can put something else. Um, I'm actually going to cook a little bit more today since it's Sunday again, so it's our meal prepping day. So I hope you enjoy, and um, you can also do this with white wine and a little bit different ingredients, but I might make another video for that since it's quite different. But All right, thank you.